Hi guys, it's Sid, and welcome back to my channel. Oh, I my hair is darker now. Let's just start there. I am gonna be doing my everyday college makeup routine. Some of the days I don't do my makeup because like there's just no way I'm gonna do my makeup when I was up all night studying. But on the days that I'm actually feeling motivated and I want to do my makeup, this is what I will do. I was supposed to film this video a couple days ago, like before I went to school. I thought it'd be so cute to be like, oh, get ready with me for class. And then I got sick. So I didn't even go to school. Oh, I also got an iced latte this morning and it was so bad. I'll like get to it later, but like I'm still traumatized. Anyways. My skin has been freaking out recently. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but I've had really dry eyelids to the point where it like burns. Something that's been helping is this. This is the Summer Fridays face oil. I never used to do this. I'm also like, I used to be scared of oil. Um, I'll put a few drops of this on my eyelids. Guys, my eyelids get so... I Something's definitely wrong with them. Sorry, I'm just like ranting. I don't know, I should probably see a dermatologist. If I'm feeling fancy, I'll start it out. My makeup by spraying this antioxidant spray. I don't know if it does anything, it just makes me feel fancy. I really prefer glowy natural makeup, especially for school. I don't like to go too heavy. My whole face has been really dry recently, so I, I honestly don't know like what's going on. I will use some of my Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is called their magic cream. Um, just to like prep my skin with some moisture. So after I just put on a thin layer of this, I will start with my foundation. I honestly don't even really consider this foundation. It's more of like a skin tint. I like to use my beauty blender to blend in everything. Um, I know you're supposed to wet it, but sometimes I just don't want to get up and go to the bathroom. So I'll just spray this face spray. And then I like to go in with my Tarte Shape Shape. What? Then I like to go in <laughs> with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I do need a concealer that is higher coverage than like my foundation. And I really love this concealer. I'll just put it on any like red spots or pimples like this one. Just gotta embrace them these days, you know? I don't know, can you guys tell that I sound sick? Or like, I sometimes I don't know if it's like, just sounds like it to me. Now that that is done, I'm gonna go in and set my makeup um, with my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I'm obsessed with this stuff, as you guys can tell. It's so nice, it just doesn't crease at all. It took me a while to find a good setting powder that I liked. actually recently switched up my eyebrow routine. I used to always use an eyebrow pencil. I had never used like a pomade before. I think because I was scared it would look super heavy and just not go with like the natural makeup that I like. But I realized you can totally make this look natural as well. And this is a really good product. This is the Benefit Brow Gel. And I just like to do like really light strokes to make it look like it's actually my eyebrow hair. This morning was unfortunate for me. I got my iced coffee at Starbucks and I didn't have cup holder space for it. So I like set it in the middle of my car and then I just started driving and obviously it spilled and it spilled like all over my feet. It was like a pool of coffee in my car. And I was like so sad and I was like, do I go in there and get another one? Like that's so embarrassing. I told them what happened cause I felt dumb going in again. And they actually gave me a free coffee. So that was really nice. And that's the story of this. So, after I fill in my brows, I like to go in with a little spoolie and just brush the product through. Sometimes I'll just leave like this because I don't wanna do anything else. But if I'm really feeling it, I'll do more. And today I have time because I'm not even going to school. I'm gonna go in with some bronzer now. This is also like not the right brush. And I'll always like drag it down to my neck. Next, I like to go in with some blush. This is a Tarte powder blush. 
I'm usually more of like a cream blush girl, but I've been trying this recently and I've really liked it, so. I feel like on camera that literally looks the same. But I swear, in person it does look different. See? You can kind of tell. I'm gonna put on some highlight now. I'm gonna use one of my favorite highlights. This is the one from Glossier, and it's a liquid highlighter. I like to put this on my brow bone, cheekbones, all that. I also don't have a cupid's bow, so something I will do is just put a little bit of highlight right there and kind of make it look accentuated. Like I was saying, my eyes are literally so busted. Something's wrong. Like, it looks like I'm wearing eyeshadow, but they're just dark and red. So I'm trying not to do any eyeshadow because I just don't want to irritate them more. Um, so I'm just going straight to mascara. Every time I curl my eyelashes, I think about the time that I curled my eyelashes in my car. And then we went over a speed bump and then I ripped all my eyelashes out. Oh well. Bonjour. Sid, what are you doing? I'm just in my bedroom. Oh, that's so weird. Because I sent you a text message a bit ago and it seems like you're not even looking at it. <laughs> Oh yeah, I didn't respond. I'm sorry. It's because I'm filming. It's because I'm filming. I'm then gonna go in with my Rare Beauty Mascara. I'm such a Selena Gomez fan, so when I got like the PR, I was freaking out. <laughs> I still have not mastered the art of putting on mascara without it getting on my eyelids, so it's just the only way that I can do it. Okay, we are almost done. Um, oh my gosh, I forgot to do something. Hold on. I've been recently liking to put on a little bit of highlighter in my inner corners. After I do mascara, I do really like to just draw a little wing on each of my eyes, but I like to make it just small and I use this brown eyebrow pencil. I'm gonna go in with my Clarins lip stain. I feel like this just makes my lips look like my lip color, but better. I think that's my makeup, you guys. Oh, so my hair could use some work, but <laughs> that's my makeup. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. You know, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. This was really fun. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.